guys. Uh, you know, I had a few questions from our last video um, when we did the camping out of the bug out bag. I had a few new pieces of kit and I had some people ask me a couple questions about it. And I just kind of wanted to make a little short video and show you what um, what I had going there. So sometimes it's easier um especially on days like then and actually the last couple of days here it's been raining pretty solid so sometimes it's just quicker and easier to just have a piece of kit that you can go to light up real quick and you know cook something if you're not using it for heat um if you're out on the trail hiking um and you don't want to build a fire uh, sometimes it's just easier to be able to sit down cook something make some coffee real quick and get back on the trail um so i actually found this piece of gear and i showed it in the video but i want to show it again and i'll put a link in the description on where to find it on amazon and uh it's called etech city it's a little gas burner and it's really it's pretty cool it just you grab it you spin it around and as you spin it around it folds the legs out and you can see that and then it's got these little tabs on top you can fold out if you need to use a bigger pot and it's actually this one's pretty cool because it's got a uh, automatic igniter on it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll hook the gas up to it and we're gonna do just a quick test to see how fast it will boil eight ounces of water. And I'm gonna do it with uh, um, my stopwatch on my phone. So we'll be able to get a good uh, good idea. Then we're gonna make some coffee and uh, talk a few minutes. So I've got about eight ounces of water in my coffee cup here. And, I, you know, it's it's cool because it just sits right on there. It's really stable. Um, and I've also got, I'm going to make a little bit of breakfast here in a little while. I don't know if I'll do it on the video, but I've got some uh, maple and brown sugar oatmeal um, that I'm going to make myself for breakfast. But uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is my Tokes Titanium Spork. Now... I know it seems like it wouldn't, you know, it's a sport, what's it going to weigh, you know? But this thing is very, it's very durable. I mean, for, for what I, I think it's worth the little bit of money you pay for it, um, to be able to have it, it's durable, it's lightweight. Um, so it's, that's a, that's a really good piece of kit I would recommend. Um, so I'm going to take this off of here. And hopefully this thing will light up pretty easily. Crank the gas on. Just like that. Alright, let me get my stopwatch. I got Mick in here with me this morning. So you see my stopwatch is at, if you can see it. Stopwatch. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go, kinda. It's at all zeros, so we're fixing to set this thing on here. I'm gonna hit it. Alright. We're gonna let that thing go and see how long it takes for that thing to boil some water. Um, we'll get it going, and then as soon as it starts to boil, I'll come back and show you what the stopwatch says.
Okay, I'm gonna show you this. It took, we're at four minutes and 24 seconds to get a good rolling boil. Now, that's not the greatest time for one of these things, but it's not bad. Um, four minutes and 24 seconds, just under four and a half minutes to get a rolling boil if you were sitting out on the trail. Um, you know, you could easily sit down for 15 minutes, make a cup of coffee, and um, a little something hot to eat, and get back on the trail out in, you know, 15 minutes or so. So, that's a good, uh, that's a good example of how this thing works as far as speed-wise. Oh, you got the crooked. Let's see what we got here. That looks a little better. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Turn it the right way to turn it off. So, we ended up with 4 minutes and 24 seconds to get this cup to boil. And, like I said, that's not the greatest time. But it's not super slow either. And for a little piece of kit like this that weighs literally nothing, that's not bad. So, another thing I was asked about was my EDC, uh, my new EDC bag. I'm going to get you a close up here in a minute and show you exactly what the, the zippers look like, what the material looks like. But I'm going to go ahead right now out of my bag itself. I'll be right back. Well, man, that was a major mistake. I know I've definitely got to have at least a couple of my Folgers Coffee Singles in that uh, EDC bag. Now, that EDC bag, like I said, Anytime I'm out camping or anything, that bag will be on my hip now. If I leave camp to go, just go get water or anything, just in case, that bag will be on my hip. So I want to make sure I've got enough stuff in that bag to carry me overnight if I have to. The cool thing about these coffee singles, this is just like a tea bag. You get your water boiling, you put these in there, you let it steep for a few minutes. Now one thing i didn't do that i should have done is i left these handles which they've cooled off pretty fast now but i left those handles up tight to the cup and in doing that it let those handles get pretty hot so i'm going to take this coffee off now i'll let it steep for a few minutes uh now one thing i want to show you that another piece of kit that i got and this is pretty cool here um, it was actually really inexpensive. It's not titanium. I know, I know it's not super light. Um, but this is a 750 milliliter uh, pot or cup. It, it's a pot. Um, it's got the bale already attached to it, which is pretty nice if you want to hang it over a fire. And it does have this lid that comes with it. It fits nice on it. It's not going to pop off. Um, and it's got, it's vented in the lid, so it'll let you steam out if you need to. Um, it's not going to build up enough pressure to fly off of there. So what we're going to do this morning, this is made by, I think it's called, uh, Lixida or something. I can't remember. I'll link this also in the description. 
um, 750 milliliters. It's got graduation marks inside it, so you'll be able to tell um, exactly how much water you're putting in it. So I'm going to go put uh, about two-thirds a cup of water in it, and then we're going to make some make some oatmeal for breakfast while we're letting the coffee cool. Or steep, not cool. I don't want it cool. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got two-thirds of a cup of uh, water on here. I'm going to turn my gas back on. Get that thing rolling. I'm going to let that thing heat that water up shouldn't take long to get that thing boiling um, now another thing I wanted to talk with you about uh, is this my EDC bag that I got I'll link this in the description um, it's from Amazon also now this bag I'll get up here a little closer for you this bag has two end pockets, the center pocket on the front, and then it's got pocket on the inside, and that pocket on the inside actually has a divider in it. It's got this strap that goes across the top. You can use it as a, a handle. The strap that goes around your waist can also be hooked on it and used across your shoulder, or it also has these straps that can be used to hook to your molly on your pack. So it's got several different ways to carry it. It's really, it feels really heavy duty. It's got some other straps on the ends of it where you could put things through it. It's got another spot here. Um, it's real, really heavy duty um, canvas and these zippers are really good thick sturdy zippers uh, like I said I'll link this in the description I don't remember exactly the guy's name that makes these but they're really nice and you can also it's got velcro on either end where if you wanted to you can tuck the uh, belt part in and just have a tuck the belt part in right there and just have a hand carry of it so that's a pretty nice uh, feature of this too okay that water's almost boiling um, this piece of kit here I don't remember exactly how much it cost me it wasn't much but that's I mean that's a nice size right there to be able to carry uh, on your hip or you could put it swing it around back and use it as like a a butt pack like the military does um, but that's a nice piece of kit just to have for a emergency kit if you have to leave camp um, or you could actually use it for just a day hike kit if you wanted to um, now wow we're rolling already all right we're gonna turn this off cool so that was fast um, I'm going to mix me up some oatmeal in here. I know some of the guys like to mix their oatmeal in the bag. And that's cool if you're out on the trail and you're just going fast. But right now, I'm going to mix it in my new little pot here and see how it works. So we'll set that in there. Let that go for a minute and thicken up. Another thing I want to talk with you about. So we've still got the 50 subs challenge going. Um, we're slowly creeping up to it. I mean, we're growing. And uh, people are commenting. They're liking the videos. I really appreciate the comments. Um, so as you guys know, the first um, prize that we've got to give away was given to us by Uberlaben. It's that fire steel, really nice fire steel. 
And then we've got the, uh, in the other video I posted the, the rain jacket that can be used also as a shelter. Now, the third one, I was trying to figure out what would be a good prize. And uh, I came up with this. So the third prize, or actually this will be the number one prize. This is a uh, Cold Steel Trail Hawk. This is a tomahawk. Now, I have personally uh, burned the handle on it to seal it. And I've put a nice edge on it and sharpened it. This thing is really nice. So, But before I can give it away, we have to get to 50 subs. So you have to share these videos so people will, will subscribe. And then hopefully you guys can get this tomahawk this thing is i mean it's really cool uh, it feels really good um one thing that a lot of people don't realize about these tomahawks is you can actually pop the handles off of them and they can be used for like skinning meat or fine carving tasks and stuff like that and then you just pop them right back on because this tomahawk handle is tapered You pop it back on there, and then you can go right back to using it. So I'm looking forward to giving these things away. You guys got to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, or you got to talk your friends into subscribing. They'll like the videos too. So this morning I just wanted to come out here, go over a few of these pieces of kit. Like I said, I'll put links in the description. Um... I'm going to drink my coffee and eat my oatmeal. And once again, you know, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Um, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, put a, give us a comment on there. Share the videos to your friends um, so they'll be able to like them and subscribe too. So thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time. I'm going to drink me some coffee. good coffee. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.